all right um good day everyone in today's lecture i'll be considering another application of newton's law of motion which is the motion of an object in a lift under the motion of an object in a lift we are going to consider four scenarios the first scenario is when the object in the lift is moving upward the second scenario is when the object in the lift is moving downward the third scenario is when the object and the lifts are not moving that is they are in a state of equilibrium and the fourth scenario is when the body and the lift are, are moving freely under the influence of gravity that is the tension on the lifts or in a lift is equal to zero okay but in today's class we are going to consider only the motion of the object in the lift we are not going to consider the motion of the lift itself okay so the first scenario we are going to consider is when the object is moving upward when the object is moving upward that's the first scenario we are going to consider the body the body is moving upward the body is moving upward now let's assume that this is the body this is let's assume this is the lift and let's assume that this is the body in the lift okay now the body is moving upward the body is moving upward now there is a force in the lift and that force in the lift is called tension Tension is always an upward force. Tension is always an upward force. So there is a force in the lift, which is tension, and the tension is moving upward. Okay? But the weight of the body is moving downward because the weight of an object is always an action. Okay? Now, because the body is moving upward, it means the summation of all the forces moving upward or the summation of all the forces in upward direction okay are greater than or is greater than the summation of all the forces on the body moving downward okay so for the body to be moving upward it simply means the tension in the lift is greater than the weight of the object so the tension is greater than the weight of the object okay so if i want to calculate the force that makes the body to accelerate upward all i have to do is i'll just subtract the weight of the body from the tension so i'm going to have tension minus the weight equals the force that make the body to accelerate upward so now i can say tension minus the weight of the body is mg equals the accelerating force is ma then t equals ma plus mg and this is the equation that we use when the body is moving upward in a lift the second scenario that we are going to consider is when the body is moving downward when the body is moving downward okay now, when the body is moving downward, it means the weight of the body is greater than the tension in the lift. So, the weight is greater than the tension in the lift. So, if I want to calculate the accelerating force, I'm going to subtract the tension from the weight. So, I'm going to have the weight minus the tension is equal to the accelerating force. Then I have mg minus t equals ma. Then minus t equals ma minus mg. Then I can say t if I multiply both sides by minus 1. t equals mg minus ma. This is the equation that we use when the object is moving upward in a lift. The third scenario that we are going to consider is when the body is not moving the body is not moving the body is not moving 
okay so for the body not to be moving it simply means the body is in a state of equilibrium the body is in a state of equilibrium and for an object to be in a state of equilibrium one of the conditions is that summation of all the forces acting in upward direction must be equal to the summation of all the forces acting in downward direction so that shows that if this body is not moving it means the acceleration of the body is zero and for the acceleration to be equal to zero it means the tension is equal to the weight and when the tension is equal to the weight tension is equal to the weight so i can say tension is equal to mg so the condition for this body not to be moving is that the acceleration of the body must be equal to zero and then the lift must be moving with a constant velocity when a body is moving with a constant velocity the body is not accelerating the acceleration of that particular body is equal to zero the fourth scenario that we are going to consider is when the body when the body moves freely under the influence of gravity under the influence of gravity under the influence of gravity okay that is the fourth scenario that we are going to consider this is the weight and this is the tension now the body is moving freely under the influence of gravity it simply means there is no tension on the body the tension on the body is equal to zero there is no more tension in the lift and if the tension if there is no tension in the lift but the body is still moving downward so we, we still consider that the weight of the body is more than the tension so i can say weight minus the tension is equal to f but now the tension is equal to zero the tension is zero so I can see weight minus zero is equal to F. Then weight is equal to F. Then mg is equal to ma. Then mass is the same thing as this mass. So I can say A equals G. Now anytime A is equal to G, it simply means the body is moving freely under the influence of gravity. And that is when the body will experience what we call weightlessness weightlessness so these are the scenarios that we have under the motion in a lift okay now let's consider this example now the example says a rope is being used to pull a mass of 10 kg vertically upward determine the tension in a rope if starting from rest the mass acquires a velocity of 4 meter per second in 8 seconds so how do we go about this question we are looking for the tension in the rope but we've been told that the body is moving vertically upward so for the body to be moving vertically upward it means the tension in the rope is greater than the weight so i will say t minus the weight equals the accelerating force then i can say t minus mg equals ma so t equals ma plus mg so the question says we should find the tension in the rope okay but we don't have the acceleration so here we are having two unknowns so the first thing we do is that we calculate the acceleration from the parameters given if we given the initial velocity of the body starting from rest initial velocity of the body v naught equals zero meter per second We've been given the final velocity of the body to be equals to 4 meter per second. And we've been given the time, t equals 8 seconds. So we are looking for the acceleration of the body. So how do we calculate the acceleration of the body? We make use of one of the equations of the motion, which states that v equals v naught plus a t. Our v is 4, 4. Our v naught is 0 plus a unknown. And then time is 8. So I'm having 4 equals 8a. Then I'll divide both sides by 8. Then I'm having my a to be equal to 0 0.5 meter per second squared. And this is the acceleration of the body. So now to calculate the tension, I'll just come back to this particular equation. I'm having t to be equal to ma plus mg. 
So T now equals the mass of the body is 10 kilogram. 10. The acceleration of the body now is 0 0.5. Plus the mass is 10. And then let's take the gravity, the acceleration due to gravity to be 10 also. So this is equal to 5 plus 100. And when I add that, I'm going to have 105 Newton. And this is the tension in the rope. And this is how we go about the motion of a body in a lift. Thank you very much. I remain Ajadion. I'll see you guys in my next lecture.